Today I have a notebook for my mom and she actually requested a long skinny book. So we've just been calling them long books and this was the first long book that I made. It's two by six inches I think. I actually finished this in March and then didn't get around to making the video until now. I did the covers with black and white polka dots because that was just paper that I had two copies of. So you don't need the covers to match but I think they should. That's just my compulsiveness. When I was making notebooks for other people, there was always a little bit of wire left over and I used that to make this book, which I really liked. It was the perfect size and it made it so that I didn't have to throw any of the wire out. I used a lot of 6x6 six six inch paper for other people's notebooks and I would always have this long piece left over and I didn't know what I was going to do with them but I saved them and then my mom had the idea for the long book so most of the work for this book was already done and I didn't even know that this was something that I was going to make and I would say most of the pages in this book were also in Brett Kissel's book but I didn't want my mom to think oh you just use leftovers so there are things that are unique to this book that nobody else has like coloring pages and there's a bookmark at the end that has something to do with Bigfoot. I don't know I thought it was fun. A lot of the pages in this book were double-sided and it was really hard to put things together nicely because just the way the paper is made not everything looks nice together like bats on an orange background with blue stripes and stuff like that. So I feel like when I did the next book it was more organized.